Good afternoon, good evening, or good morning, depending on when you watch this. Stock market on Tuesday, once again, had an, a very stellar session. The NASDAQ was up 0.37%. Volume was well above the day before session, even though it's below average volume. Like I said, don't care at all. Uh, everything looks good. That surge in volume is very good. And even better, the Russell 2000 was up 0.84%. At 1176 close is now above the 1175 recent start of the handle close. So it's now officially breaking out of this cup with handle pattern and it's got volume. So our SRTY hedge, even though it's still below this key support, this key resistance level here, here, which is basically also here. So this March resistance, the final one, and the April resistance. Despite that, since it is breaking out over the high of the handle, of the start of the handle, the pivot point, 25% of SRTY will come off, not 50% because it needs to get above, I think it's like the 1188 level, uh, what is that, yeah, 1192 level, and then after that it'll be basically the 1212 level, so then that'll be an all-time high for Russell 2000. So everything's looking good. Same with the New York Stock Exchange. We rallied today, volume below average, but everything looks good. Tons of um, nice signals out there. Um, QIHU gave one. YY is looking solid with a big breakout. Um, Expedia broke out to a new high. AMBA is climbing up the right side of a base. You got PCRX doing a pocket pivot point signal. You got Lennar doing a pocket pivot point signal. You got Jazz doing a pocket pivot point signal. You got Icon doing a pocket pivot point signal and stuff like Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs. So, you know, you got some nice movers out there. Arnett coming through the 50-day moving average. So it's starting to look really, really good. And going back to the um, Russell 2000, look at the volume on some of these ETFs like IJH, um, IJF, is that right? Nope, IJR. Oh, my God, I can't type. IJR, it's a very odd sequence of letters I'm typing in. So you can see the heavy volume there. You can see it on TNA. You can see it on URTY. Just overall, some very, very big volume confirmation in the Russell 2000 indexes and IWM with that pocket pivot point signal. So all that being said, um, everything looks good. Uh, besides the SRTY, we have no sells. I do have new long positions, but um, I'm tapped out. So what it would be is HZNP would be 5% normally. The add to MVIS would be 2.5%, and the new long in biofuel would um, be two and a half percent because speculative stocks are starting to work and obviously MVIS worked right away our early position MVIS was less than one percent of my account value yesterday because that's all the cash on hand I had after FSLR um, so that's good so what we're gonna do is MVIS that'll get probably about 0.5 because I only have I'd say what am I looking at three is that what I'm looking at? No, it's because I did 2.5% in that. So I got 2.5% going into HZNP, which should be a 5%er. Pocket pivot point signal breaking out of this very high, tight um, flag like pattern. To me, it looks like a flag, but it can also be a long, flat base. But it looks strong with that previous uptrend. I'm hoping it can replicate that move. So that's a 5%er, but for me, it's 2.5%. Um, or, you know, it might be more near 2% actually because I think I only have about 3% cash on hand, 3, 3.5%. Three but either way, if you don't, HZMP, 5%. MVIS, like I said, is going to be about probably 0.5% for me. Beautiful breakout here, pocket pivot point signal. We got the early signal yesterday. Remember, I compared it to an ARWR type setup, not nearly as bullish, not as much max green bop, but it had that tight pattern and a good strong market. And we got the move today, um, gapped up even a little bit, um, which kind of, I wish it wouldn't have done that so we could have gotten that full 7.5%. But the strong close on above average volume, that's definitely an add. And biofuel, that's a very, very strong pattern off the February move. Huge accumulation, no distribution, and the most recent base is extremely tight, and there was no volume. So it looks like sellers are out. It gapped up, pulled back to the 50-day moving average, and is now bouncing off of it. Um, it looks, once again, similar to the MVIS, and I always make reference to the ARWR move back here. Once again, like I said, with the low-volume market, 
we've got to go early before you normally on a day like today on 9613 with ARWR you get a volume surge above average and you get long it came the day after and while that was still long I decided to get fancy with a limit order and thus miss that big move for a top there and so we'll see if that happens with bio F here or with MBIS here but the Momo is there in these stocks thank you